Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So this time we're playing as Norska and we're up against the Dark Elves. So for my forces I chose to go with Throg, a force to be reckoned with, I really look, uh, like Throg. I prefer him most of the time again uh, over the Wolfric, but Wolfric has, um, well he has the freaking Mammoth as a mount, so sometimes he, uh, he's really good too. But Throg overall I think is the uh, best choice due to the Frostbite, huge anti-large and armor piercing. Uh, he can ev even beat Tyrion if I'm correct, uh, quite uh, quite effectively. So for the front line we just have cheap uh, Marauders, four of them as I can see, two Berserkers in the, fr in the back line enable to, uh, just in case to deal with any uh, like Black Argorsers and stuff like that over here. We also got three Fimir with great weapons and two Hounds in the back, one Norskan Warhound, one Norskan Ice Wolf, and also the um, Beasts of Tasnar in the back Vanguard deployed. For my magic we got the Shaman Sorcerer of Death with uh, Spirit Glitch and Aspect of the Dread Knight because I just wanna drop like a terror bomb on top of my enemy and I really wanna see how it's gonna go. And also a Marauder Ice Wolf Chariot which uh, I really like these guys, like uh, they really do some work. Uh, they got enough mass, they got uh, the frostbite, so uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty damn excellent. For my uh, opponent, he's got a front line of uh, bleak swords along with some black arc corsairs, three of them, uh, two war hydras in order to deal with any uh, berserkers and stuff like that, also a death hug, some dark riders with shields, and uh, what else, just Malekith, yep, damn it, I, it's always against Malekith lately. Malekith on his black dragon with gaze of malice, soul stealer, uh, blade wind, pretty much all uh, dark magic over here. So yeah, let the uh, let the fun begin. Uh, as soon as I'm gonna see his force, I'm gonna see that he doesn't have enough cavalry to counter me. The uh, only cavalry is on the other side, so I'm just gonna go in with the chariots, just get a really nice hit on these black arcosers, and just get the hell away from there and just come for uh, another round. Just stay away from these dark riders, which are gonna be hunted by my wolves, which are gonna try to get around. So the frontline fight is going quite nicely, the Marauders are gonna be going after Bleak Swords and the Berserkers are gonna follow up. We got the Femir over here to deal with the Death Hug and also the War Hydra and the same goes for the other side. And uh, yeah, things are gonna be going pretty damn well. Black Arcosers didn't do, didn't get that much of damage but uh, it will add up and also the uh, Beasts of Tasnar are gonna be coming in which have anti large and uh, these Dark Riders are up into some uh, really nasty surprise. So over on this side uh, we got uh, Spirit Witch going on on the War Hydra, unfortunately we got the Fenir and Throg just fighting off the Death Hug which is gonna be going down really fast and we're just gonna leave the War Hydra at the moment. I think, uh, what the hell is she doing? She probably gave the order to go forward instead of hitting the attack and she's, yeah, she's not gonna be doing that well. So over here we're gonna get the two wolves, one, do we have poison? <coughs> no, but we have frostbite which is good enough. Yeah, these two wolves are gonna fight off against the Dark Riders and also the uh, Beasts of the Snar are gonna come into their back completely decimating them. So uh, overall the fight is going well, an aspect of the Dread Knight and uh, Overcast one is being dropped. We don't see any terror coming in but uh, hopefully... Yeah, the Bleak Swords just broke out of a sudden but I don't think it had anything to do with the aspect of the Dread Knight. It was just an uh, overall uh, overwhelming fight. So the War Hydra is gonna turn around, just get a good breath actually on Throg, just doing some good work. The Death Hug is offline, uh, the Summon Sorcerer, Sorcerer is chasing her, and I, I just forgot, I just uh, didn't see that she actually started, so I just sent him over. And yeah, he's gonna overextend a little bit, but he's gonna be back. So, uh, I don't know, there's really not much to see at the moment. One War Hydra is uh, shattered, the other one is about, to, uh, broken I mean, the other one is about to. And I'm just gonna send my wolves to uh, hunt them down, so this uh, Fimir can just come back and deal with Malekith. We just popped his uh, stand your ground and some uh, leftover uh, Black Arc Corsairs are gonna be coming in, but there goes my chariots just uh, stopping that charge. And they're gonna keep going after these Bleak Swords in the back and also the uh, Dread Spears over here. Yeah, these guys are amazing. <laughs> I really like their mass and they're uh, quite formidable. So, uh, oh, actually one Hydra is gonna be able to come back, Malekith is just getting uh, his uh, skills right on top of this blob. 
when I'm winning, I usually tend to go after the blow strike. I really should stop doing that because one soul soul stealer over here. Oh my god! Just imagine a soul stealer over here on all this for This is pretty much literally all of my army on top of market at the moment. Ah, uh, the final transmutation. Oh my god! Imagine a final transmutation over here. That would be so goddamn cool. Finally, my uh, summon sorcerer decided to come back, and uh, yeah, my chariots are just gonna keep cycle chatting uh, over here, back and forth, back and forth. Berserkers and uh, some rest of the guys are gonna be coming in. The bounce of power massively in my favor. Another tail wind going down, and uh, a doom bolt as well. But uh, yeah, the uh, army losses penalties are gonna kick in. The war hydra will never make it. Malagif is already shattered, and that's gonna be GG. So I was just trying to uh, test the aspect of the Dread Knight, but I don't really think it has a good use. Um, when the opponent has really big monsters on uh, his side, it doesn't. Uh, the terror doesn't work that easily. Uh, if if you're attacking an infantry unit without a big monster around it, it usually happens almost immediately. You just charge and uh, they're immediately terrified. But then, where? But when they're being backed by a terror monster for themselves, for some reason they don't. So uh, yeah. And as you saw, like uh, the moment the war hiders just overextended, this was the time that uh, the units actually fell apart and terrified uh, the front line. I mean, so um, yeah, um, I really hope you like this build, like uh, front line marauders, some uh, berserkers as well. I really like the chariot play, the femir, just uh, always a force to be reckoned with, some wolves to deal with any annoying dark riders or uh, crossbowmen dark riders. Throg, just being uh, a powerhouse, just being down everyone, and also some uh, spirit, good, good old spiritlets to uh, apply some pressure to enemy lords and stuff like that. For my opponent, yeah, um, I don't know what. Uh, well, war hydras are actually quite good, but I don't know. Perhaps uh, double harv this should be the case here. I think the double harv this. It would be a lot better case, and Malekith is not needed to go on a dragon. Kind of a waste most of the time. The Death Hag, eh, kind of decent, decent choice. But overall, in the end, I think there was nothing he would be able to do. Like, um, whoever was playing this build, he would eventually win against uh, this Dark Elven force. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed guys. Feel free to leave a like or a comment Feel free to subscribe if you're not and hit that notification button and yeah gonna be seeing you next time. Bye. Bye